Greeting from Marento. Please like us and subscribe us if you like this video. Today we are going to discuss about how we can increase the performance of your computer. There are several reasons that we are buying a computer, new computer which has very good specification but still your computer is not working fine because of software issues. So here we go to increase the performance of your computer. Please. The first step is like First of all, you need to open the run command by using the administrative privilege, by using the administrative rights. For that, you can do this activity which I am going to do now. So, please follow me. Type the CMD over the screen, then right click and run as administrator. And you can also do the same thing which is all written over the screen. Yes. And then type the command which is sfc space scan now and then enter so it will start beginning the verification has been started so it will take a few moments to complete this verification process meanwhile we can also go for the other activity which is written over the screen fine so we can open the new run command command prompt and then again right click run as administrator do yes fine now type the next command which is written over the screen chk dsk space slash f space slash r russia then hit enter oh there is a spelling mistake dsk fine now hit enter it will ask you to restart the computer and once you will restart the computer so then your verification will be start it will try to resolve the disk issues so press yes once your system will restart so you need to make sure that it will take if it can take half an hour it can take one hour also for resolving your issue depend upon the computer your disk also so have patience fine I am also gonna do yes now once I will restart my system so it will start modifying the disk error disk Now we are going to follow the other steps too. For that, fine. So here we go. Open the run command and type temp and whatever the files are available in that folder. So you can delete all those files by clicking over continue. Then we can simply go for shift and delete for the permanent deletion of the files. These files are not required at all because it's happened when we are running our computer. So there are the temporary files being created in your system each and every day. So you don't require these files at all. And which, which files which are being used by any application, it will, uh, you couldn't be able to delete those files. So you'd be, you will get prompt up over the screen. So shift and delete and then yes, okay continue as you can see the two files has remained one file has remained over the screen so we are going to skip this file simply skip it okay fine skip it now you can close this window and again open the run command and type percent time percent and then enter so you will get several file and folders over here again shift and delete for selecting all of the file you can press ctrl and a then shift and delete for permanent deletion you couldn't be able to recover these files after the permanent deletion by the normal process so make sure and as i told you these files are not required at all so just yes why i am saying this these files are not required at all and why it is necessary to these files like there are the some users are available those users don't like to delete their temporary files at all and what happened as I'm gonna show you in one of my picture which I took from so as you can see that temporary files which are available in Windows C drive Windows and slash temp so over here you can see that the size of the temporary file is about 232 GB so it is not at all recommended it has taken a complete space of the drive so that's why I <coughs> I I suggest you to delete these files which is file and folders available in temporary folder and the other thing you can also do that you can go to the recycle bin and you can delete 
the files available in recycle bin so go to the recycle bin right click on it and empty recycle bin and then say yes okay yes you want to delete these files fine okay so now there is a one more thing which we have to do it prefetch prefetch so open the run command type prefetch and then hit enter continue and then it will show you some files available here shift and delete yes okay so it has deleted now now shift and delete means these files will not available in your recycle bin so you don't need to empty recycle bin once again fine now here is another method that we can increase the virtual memory of the computer if your computer don't have the enough memory available in your system so you can increase the virtual memory also for that you need to go to the <coughs> you need to go to the setting and virtual memory so we will do this activity right click on your my computer and your computer then properties go to the properties and over there you will find advanced system settings just click on it and then you will find the performance option over here just click on setting <coughs> again advanced then click on change once you will click on change so you will find the option automatically manage paging file size for all drives so you can uncheck it and then you can you can keep the size as the available size is so much available size uh, so much space is available in the C drive so you can like simply make the double of your around the double of your RAM so I'm just gonna do I'm gonna give you 1024 and then 4048 that is enough for me in your case you can give it the same most of the time it is taking if it is not taking then you can uh, decrease the size fine as in my D drive there is a less space so I'm trying to give the same value let's see what is gonna happen it has taken fine now again 1024 and 4048 oh in my C drive the space is not available so I'm not gonna do with my E drive because I have only few space of MB so you uh, we couldn't able to give this much as you can see over here the available space is 1 MB only only 1 MB so we couldn't able to create the virtual memory in my E drive so just leave it okay fine so now click on OK it will ask you to restart your computer once you will click on OK so we can restart later after these all activities now there is another thing which we need to do in our computer for that we need to go to the registry go to the run command type r e g e i t regedit click on yes then go to the go to the same options available over here h key local machine h key local machine then software then microsoft here we go and then df RG. It happened that sometimes you couldn't able to get this option, so you leave. You can leave this option. Then click on boot optimization function, and on the right panel you will get an option optimize complete. Just right click on it, modify, and then give the value yes. Fine. So I have already modified this value. Give the value yes, and click on OK, and then you can close it. Now the other thing is like uh, sometime it's happened we have a uh, lot of the files a uh, lot of the applications which need to be which we are not required at a startup whenever we are booting our computer so it's those applications are set up that will be the start that will be start when uh, you are going to restart the system. So for that we can go to the MS config for that we need to follow a few steps MS config. go to the MS config and over here we can go to the startup and we can uh, we can disable all these because all these are not required for the startup right these are all not required for the startup and we can 
disable all and then we can click on ok and in service also we can hide the Microsoft services and we can disable all the services which is not required fine so once we will click on once we will try to open the application so automatically these services will run but the, at the time of the booting you uh, the system will not run these services so now hide all Microsoft service and apart from these Microsoft services disable all the services available in your system and in a startup also do the same activity now click on OK now what are the important thing that it's happen often that your C drive is full and you are trying to do all these activity but yeah, still your computer is not performing well so what you can do that you can go to the C drive and you can delete some of the temporary files you can delete some of the you can shift your documents like I have a few documents in my C drive so for that I can go to the users C drive then users and like uh, as you can see administrator continue So what are the files available in your desktop, in your in your doc downloads, in your documents? You move all those files to the E drive or D drive, whatever the drive are available. Either you also you can also copy those files and folders to your removal drive and make a copy. It's a good habit to make a copy of your data and uh, because if your operating system gonna form it and corrupted so you it's very hard to recover the data from C drive so that's I am suggesting that you whatever the important document you have you can you need to keep those document in other drive and make sure that your C drive is should be uh, should not be full as you can see over here like my E drive is completely full and it is not recommended at all but in case of C drive because the operating system has installed in C drive so it is little bit crucial to keep uh, a C drive fully utilized so make sure that it should be free at least 10% of your total space like if the space is 100 GB so I recommend you to keep free space of 10 GB at least and uh, still if you don't have any kind of uh, doc you moved all the documents so you can uninstall the some of the applications to make to make free space in your C drive for that you can go to the run command you can type the same command app which dot cpl and then click on ok so over here you can get the list of the applications and you can delete uh, these applications which are not required by you and one more activity you can do like if you don't there are so many updates are available in your system so you can also uninstall the updates by double clicking on these updates now like uh, we can also do one more activity we can go to the advanced option of my computer and advanced system settings over here like performance in visual we can set is as adjust for best performance and adjust for best appearance you can select is as per your wish fine so I'm not gonna change I'm quite satisfied with my so this was the video about how you can increase the performance of your computer if you like it so subscribers and like the video thank you from Marento